Alright, welcome to this episode, well, tutorial of Multisim. Today we're going to be doing a parallel and series circuit. We're going to learn how to calculate the ohm ridge for those and the possible um, power usage of those in average. So we're going to get a 12 volt power supply here and our ground. Next thing we're going to need is we're going to need resistors for this particular one. So we're going to use, we'll use 1K resistors for this. We'll grab three of them. And the first thing we're going to do is make a series circuit. Connect them all together with the virtual wires to the power supply. Now, First thing we're going to want to do is figure out how much ohm ridge this has. This is a really simple process for series. What you're going to do is take 1k plus 1k plus 1k, which equals 3k. Now you're going to want to get your calculator, so we'll put this to the side. Um, first thing with electronics and engineering in general, you're always going to want a good calculator. I personally like this one. So now we know that 12 divided by 3 is going to equal... Yeah, 4 amps, because 4 times 3 is 12, yes, okay. So we should get 4 amps through this. Oop. What have I done? I have clicked the unforgivable button. That's actually really easy to fix right there. Okay, and then we're going to want to just make that full screen and zoom back in. So to verify that, what we can do is get our multimeter right here, delete that line, connect that there to that there, and click play. Oh. Oh, I see the mistake. All right, so this is going to be a, a very common mistake when you first begin. K equals thousands. So that's 3,000. So 12 divided by 3,000 is going to equal 4 milliamps. My mistake. So now that we know that it's 4 milliamps, we can take our 4 milliamps and multiply that by 12. Right. Which equals 48 milliwatts. So now that we know that this equals 48 milliwatts, now what about a series of oh, parallel circuit? My mistake again. My apologies. I'm making tons of mistakes today. So we're going to want to grab a new 12 volt DC power supply and a ground. We're going to want to grab three 1K resistors again. We're going to rotate them all by 90 degrees clockwise. And we're going to make a little circuit out of them. You're going to run your one lead to this one. And then your bottom lead to the next one. And then connect that to there, and that to there. Then you're going to connect your 12 volt power supply to there, and to there. Now that's a little bit messy, you can definitely improve upon that. So for this, the it's going to kind of look something like this. It's going to be 1 divided by... 1 x all right we'll use a professional thing actually we'll just show you on the calculator so it's going to be 1 divided by 1 1 and then your ohm ridge so 1000 plus 
1 divided by 1000 for our second resistor plus 1 divided by 1000 for the third resistor. And once we equal that out, we can see that the ohmridge is going to be 333.33. So, going off of that, we can determine that 12 divided by 333.33 will equal 0 0.036 milliamps. So, well, amps. So we would go to 36 amps. So to verify this, we will grab our multimeter, connect it there, delete this wire, connect that wire to here, and that wire to here. Click play. And as you can see, we get 36 milliamps. Now for power for this, what we can do is take our 36 milliamps 36 milliamps, so 0 0.036 times that by 12, and we will get 0 0.432. So round that up, so 432 milliwatts. Easy enough. And oh boy, that, that that program gets a little glitchy. I need to work on that. Anyhow, so now we have determined that. If we would like, we can verify that by disconnecting that lead. Oh, pause the circuit first. That will be another thing that you will need to memorize with multi-sim is pausing circuits is very beneficial. Connect that to there. Connect this to here. And this to here. Click play. Double click on here. And let's see, is there a watt meter built in to this multimeter? No, there isn't. Okay, so this multimeter does not include a watt meter. So for that, you can go under place indicator, um, voltage meter, amp meter. Huh, I could swear multi sim had a wattage meter, but I could be wrong. Make sure that there's new magical tools over here that I'm forgetting. Nope, apparently we don't have a watt meter. But once again, it's easy enough to calculate, and as long as you can trust your mathematics, you should be alright. Um, just double check to make sure that there is not a watt meter. I could swear there really was, but I guess maybe I'm going crazy. Right? Yeah. Alright. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, the next tutorial we'll be doing is creating a 555 circuit. Um, so look forward to that. Have a wonderful day.